Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in Pathfinder Solutions series and I have brought forward a question from the topic of kinematics in the book, uh, Objective Type, problem number 22 and it's a very interesting and very tough problem um, on three ants and a triangle puzzle. Okay, so also this is a video tribute to Roger Penrose, who is one of the three recipients of the Physics Nobel Prize for the year 2020. Uh, this I am recording on the same day that he is uh, the Nobel Prize has been announced for him and his colleagues. Okay, so let's try to first of all go through the formal wording. I'll talk about uh, Roger Penrose a bit during the solution of the problem. Okay, so please kindly stay back. Uh, three ants ABC are crawling on a large horizontal tabletop, always occupying vertices of an equilateral triangle, size of which may vary with time. If at an instant, speeds of ants A and B are VA and VB, which of the following conclusions can you make for the speed VC of the ant C? Okay, so he has given four possible inequalities and you have to choose the best possible one that suits the conditions given in the question. Okay, so try to take a time. Uh, it will take more than 10 minutes for you to solve this problem. If you are following Olympiad workout series, this I can rate as a problem in level two of Olympiads. Okay, so um, pause the video, have a try and then come back to the solution. So let's move ahead. So first of all, uh, I uh, just uh, talk about uh, the work of Roger Penrose. So I'm not an authority on the subject of black hole, but whatever I've understood from the articles that I've read about him. So he has uh, formulated the mathematics that ensures uh, the uh, understanding that the black holes are not just constructs or theoretical constructs, but they do actually exist. So it's, it's very, very interesting that a mathematician by his work has solved a physics problem or a physics existence. Okay, so that's why he's awarded a physics Nobel Prize along with two other people who are going to share the other half of the prize. Uh, and they also have contributed towards the understanding of black holes. Okay, so um, that's Roger Penrose on a uh, staircase, which uh, is almost symbolic towards the singularity of a black hole. So, okay. And also if you carefully observe the thumbnail that also was a fleeting tribute that I tried to pay uh, to Roger Penrose because this particular triangle that you are looking at on the thumbnail is uh, called a Penrose triangle. So we want to study more about the Penrose triangle, try to Google that word. You'll understand uh, what's the speciality of that. Okay, so now back to the problem. Uh, what I'm going to do, and I said uh, it's a tribute video because the scope of black hole and its mathematics is beyond my scope and also this channel's syllabus scope. So what we'll try to do is, I've picked a problem wherein it's a physics problem on the face of it, but we'll have a mathematical solution. The similar uh, analogy that we can uh, put forward for the black hole problem being solved by a mathematician. So we'll try to take a math solution for a physics problem of this three ant triangle puzzle. Okay, so here we go with the solution. So what we are going to do is, again, the solution is given by a person called Branislav Kisakakin. And I'm uh, sorry, I got the pronunciation wrong. So Dr. Branislav, you can uh, Google uh, the person's name. He has written a book actually on uh, uh, solving physics problems, some of them using geometrical constructs. So it's a very interesting book. Okay, so especially if you are interested in geometrical puzzles, uh, which involve physics and maths together. So that book is for you. So try to take out the name and Google it for his uh, book, you will be able to find it. Okay, so we are going to solve the present problem using complex numbers. Okay, so let's move ahead. And I'm going to give my method also at the end using vectors. Okay, so let's go ahead. So this is the solution that he has proposed. So if we define the positions of these three ants at any arbitrary instant, remember in the question he spoke of, as the ants move, the triangle should be maintained, but it need not have the same size. That means as these ants move, they always form an equilateral triangle, but the side of the triangle is not fixed. Okay, so keep that in mind as we move along in the solution. So the uh, uh, defined positions of ABC will be done using complex numbers. You might have been taught in your mathematics that complex numbers are just another forms of vectorial representations. Okay, it's an argand plane as we spoke. Okay, so then we may write the value of the complex number ZC, okay, ZC in that argand plane as ZA plus ZB minus ZA, which is nothing but this 
vector form rotated by an angle of pi by 3. I hope you understand this part. Okay, e power minus j by pi 3 is nothing but a rotation factor in a clockwise sense. If this is plus, it's an anti clockwise rotation. Okay, zb minus za is this particular vector when rotated along this direction, it gives you this vector, and that vector when added to za gives you ZC. That's what this equation means. If you're good at complex numbers, then you'll be able to understand this very clearly as I wrote here. Okay. So differentiating this position vector in complex form, you'll get the complex form of velocities. Okay. So VC will become same thing. Z is replaced with capital V here. Capital V represents the complex form of velocities. Okay. Right. And then when you rearrange for VA and VB, you end up getting V and VB with factors of this kind. Now what I'll do is I'll take modulus on both sides because modulus of this complex velocity gives me the actual speed of that particle, that real number. Okay, right. But what happens here is when I take the modulus of two, some of the two complex numbers, I can use an inequality that the sum uh, modulus of the sum is less than or equal to the sum of the moduli. Okay, we, this ensures that this particular uh, whatever complex number that you have inside, these are actually the unit numbers. Okay, right. So modulus of one minus e power minus j pi by three, easy to see that it's equal to one and modulus of this obviously is equal to one. So the sum of these two, which immediately becomes the sum of the speeds. So that gives us a pretty neat inequality uh, about the um, conditions that he has given and therefore the answer required is D using complex method analysis. Okay, and if I want to add it, my twist to this particular problem, I try to uh, formulate a solution which involves vectors. Actually, it's equivalent, right? The person who is using complex numbers, he can always take it into a vector uh, algebra and try to utilize that. So this is my take of utilizing vector algebra. Okay, so again, ABC can be any orientation, any size. So in this particular triangle, I have written wantedly the ABC in an anti-clockwise sense. Okay, right. So OC bar, which is the position of the and C is equal to OM bar plus MC bar. Let me explain this red vector plus this red vector. What's the speciality of this red vector? The M is the midpoint of AB and M to C is the perpendicular bisector or the altitude, whatever, because it's an equilateral triangle. But MC bar can also be written in terms of MA bar cross K cap. Assume this is XY plane. Okay, so let me write that for you. This is x, y plane, let's suppose. So this is y axis and this is x axis. So z axis is out of the board. And therefore what I can do especially is writing ma bar cross with k cap gives me a vector in the same plane, which is perpendicular to the uh, ma bar. Okay, so that's a nice neat way that you should note even for future purposes to be able to produce a vector which is perpendicular to the given vector, right? If you want to write ma is perpendicular, then take a cross product of this particular vector with k and then adjust for its magnitude you should be very careful remember if ma is having a half magnitude then this is actually root 3 by 2 right you understand that that's why i had to multiply it with root 3 okay so keeping this aside and substituting this mc here and om bar which is the midpoint vector is the arithmetic mean of ra and R, rb so oc bar which is rc bar is equal to this om which is the arithmetic mean plus mc which is entire thing that i have written here okay right and ma bar is simply equivalent to the value of ra bar minus rb bar divided by Two because it's half of this, so that I have written. So I've written RC in terms of this thing, okay, and uh, RA, R, and RB along with the cross product, mind you. So differentiating both sides, we end up getting the velocity vectors this time, just like what we did in complex analysis, but slightly uh, different expressions that you're getting using cross products. So once you put V A and V B's cross products separately, now I'll try to take the modulus. Before I try to take the modulus and write these expressions, try to uh, associate yourself with this side calculation. Okay, so imagine my V A bar vector can be written as the magnitude of V A multiplied by the cos theta i cap plus sine theta j cap, which is some unit vector in the direction of VA, right? If VA makes an angle theta with x axis, I think you all will be able to agree that you can write it that way. And then in that context, what would be the way of writing root three by two VA bar cross K cap? 
right v a bar cross k cap gives me a vector which is perpendicular to v a that means it may be in this direction right so if a makes an angle of theta with x axis then this one would make an angle of theta minus pi by 2 with x axis okay right so this entire thing can be written as the magnitude of v a multiplied by this root 3 by 2 i can take it inside and if this was having a cos theta and sin theta i think i end up having cos theta minus pi by 2 and sin theta minus pi by 2 so that means this v a by 2 and this term when i add up it will be nothing but adding up these two i cap wise and j cap wise what is the i cap wise addition here i think it will be half cos theta plus root 3 by 2 i think you all will agree this is sin theta so half cos theta plus root 3 by 2 sin theta at this particular place i can manage them together i guess sin a cos b plus cos a sin b type of a term which gives me immediately sin pi by 6 plus theta for this i cap for this j cap i can similarly argue that it will become cos pi by 6 plus theta into j cap all this is for vs common part on similar lines vb also can be utilized i didn't show the calculation here and you'll get a modulus of some vector and you could see this vector is a unit vector and this also would be a unit vector of a similar kind so if i take modulus on both sides and use the same logic the sum of the modulus of the sum should be less than or equal to sum of the moduli of individual vectors so those numbers will become this and therefore you end up getting a similar logic using vc is less than or equal to va plus vb so those people who are uh, uh, not knowing the complex numbers argon plane and that e power j theta rotation uh, they are they are better served using the vector method okay so the spirit of this vector method is same as the complex number method given by dr blanislav okay and i should thank one of my colleagues nitin sinha to for bringing me the solution that uh, dr blanislav has given so thanks for my colleague and uh, which enabled me to actually devise a vector method for you people also okay so it's it's an inspiration from that solution okay so i hope you loved the presentation of the math solution and i um, I, I i hope you understand that maths forms the biggest backbone of the physics apart from whatever beauty the physics has it is actually very hollow without the maths okay so that's proven with the nobel prize also i hope you understand that and you want to understand more about the subject please try to go through all the series that are presented in this particular channel with the links of all the playlists in the description below right and uh, in case you like the video please do like it and share it with your friends teachers please do share it with your uh, students and please do subscribe to my channel and if you have not yet subscribed i would recommend you to watch two or three videos of the latest ones and uh, um, you would definitely like the quality of the content and you would be able to support me okay so please do uh, comment what kind of videos you want me to take in the near future it would be really helpful to guide me uh, through my progress in the channel okay so thank you stay safe and see you in the next video